Hey guys, Michael Sears here for ADCC. We are here for the first ADCC South American Trials for 2024 here in Belo Horizonte, Brazil, in the state of Minas Gerais. Minas Gerais, a state with legendary history with ADCC. People who grew up here, like ADCC Hall of Famer Marcelo Garcia, along with ADCC champions like Felipe Pena, Jaime Lobel Hall, Mateus Denise. And now we're going to be doing the first South American Trials today. See who can punch their ticket to ADCC Worlds at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. What's up, dog? Nah, I feel good. Um, that was a little harder than expected. That's ADCC, you know what I mean? I literally just said my, to myself, do not slam my own head in the mat. He uchied me, but I had better hip position, so his face went. I have more five for today. Just feel good, feel happy. Time to put a show. For, for many many years and then uh, today was as far as I could make it so far and then uh, I'm pretty confident today so today's gonna be my day. Alright guys we're here in Belo Horizonte it's been a wild day of Jiu Jitsu some great matches some big upsets we're getting ready for the semifinals at the first ADCC South American Trials kicking it off with 66 kilograms one side of the bracket Kennedy Maciel's been running wild over there. The other side, we have two Melky Galvao guys made it. Juan Gabriel is a high seed, and 15-year-old Kalebi Pereira, who made his, uh, defeated the three seed, Felipe Machado, to make the, the semis. Up in the 77 kilogram division, we have a Luta Libre guy is gonna be going against Habino, the number one seed. And on the other side, Fabio Caloy made it against Luis Paulo, two of the top seeds as well over there. So at 88, we have Charles Negromontes right fighting Rafael Paganini. On the bottom side, Gabriel Mato, who just tapped Mateus Lutez, is fighting Andre Porfirio. There were some big names in this division, some big upsets, but four studs in the semis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Super excited. Let's do this. Let's go. First time in the finals. I'm 35 years old. I'm not young anymore. But I'm still taking the risk to do what I love to do. Ignacio Santos went out and won the 99 plus kilogram division today. Punched your ticket to ADCC Worlds 2024. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling amazing, man. It's It's been a long uh, long journey. It was a long camp, but um, it's worth it. It's well worth it. It's awesome. Has it even dawned on you yet that it's like 
just a few months from now, you're going to be the biggest grappling event in the world, 12,000 fans, T-Mobile Arena, like... Uh, no, yeah, no, yeah, I think late at night will. Like, in two or three hours, I'm not going to be able to sleep. That's what, you know, I was talking to my dad about it. It's like, we're not going to sleep the whole night, but, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm really stoked, man. It's, it's awesome. The adrenaline didn't come down yet, you know, but it's awesome. I'm here with Felipe Costa. Went out and won the 99 kilogram division today. Qualified for ADCC Worlds 2024. How are you feeling right now? Man, feeling really good. You know, excited to go there in the ADCC and put a show to everybody. You know, 99 minutes just got a big problem. So let's do it. Yeah, I mean, it was a tough division. A lot of big names in there. Guys who have done ADCC Worlds, guys who have won trials. I mean, what was it like for you going out there and winning the division today? Man, that's my first trials, you know, so I was really excited about it. And I never fight the name, right? I'm going to fight the guy there. So I don't care about his name. I don't care what he won before. In that day, it's going to be my day, you know. So that's what I try to put in my mindset. Here with Charles Negromonte, won the 88-kilogram division, in my opinion, the toughest division at this trials. Qualified for ADCC Worlds 2024. How are you feeling right now? I can't even believe it, bro. Like, to be honest, as I mentioned before, like, I've been trying for so many years. And then, uh, you know, today was my day. Um, something clicked in my mind. Like, I, I kept persisting. I always believed, like, one day I, I would be able to compete the, the biggest tournament in the world. And then uh, and it's going to be this year, 2024. Yeah, the biggest tournament, you know, probably of all time, 12,000 fans. T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas, going to be real big time. What's next for you? You just going to go get ready for ADCC? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I, I've got a couple super fights. Uh, one, in, uh, one in Sardinia. It's going to be... Uh, somewhere in July uh, it's, a, it's a tournament of my friend of mine so he, he invited me I, want, I really want to do that one maybe take a little break until, until then I'll just to recover some injuries and then uh, and then I just keep going just I, I don't want to stop I want to keep going here with Kennedy Maciel <laughs> came out looked really dominant you had the number one seed you look like the number one seed you dominated your way through punch your ticket to ADCC Worlds 2024 how are you feeling right now uh, I feel happy you know but not satisfied uh, I feel like uh, in uh, Worlds ADCC in September, uh, August, you guys are going to see a better version of Kennedy. I have a lot of room to improve, and uh, like I said, those kids here today were like amazing from blue to purple or brown, right, the finals. So I'm just happy and uh, blessed to be here, you know, competing in Brazil and show people that uh, what I'm capable of. You feel you got a lot to improve, of course, but I mean, myself and a lot of people feel you, you look better than ever, which is crazy to say. You've taken second at ADCC. Do you feel that you, you're better than you were before right now? I feel not, not uh, technically, but I would say mentally. Mentally, I'm on a different stage. I'm happy. And like I said, when you're happy, you become dangerous. Yeah. Before, I was to try to be like, find, try to find uh, like who I was. But now I think I, I made a uh, friendship with myself. And now I know what works for me. I'm, I'm still figuring out what works for me. So I made, I made friendship with myself. Before, I was trying to be someone else that I wasn't. You know, so now you, you guys see a happy Kennedy, you know, a loser Kennedy. So I think that's that's what's bringing me like this better uh, version here today. So like I said, in August, you guys are gonna see a better Kennedy because I'm still discovering what, what's, what's like to be like this. So uh, be ready, you know, if you think that was a good performer today, wait until August, you no? Know? It's gonna be a different, different person.